Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you guys are new, welcome. Thank you guys for stopping by. Today I have this cute tutorial for you guys and I hope you all enjoy. So first I'm going to be hydrating my face with the Mario Badescu Rose Water Facial Spray. Um, this spray has a aloe scent to it. Um, if you guys like aloe, you can try it out. It's very hydrating, moisturizing, and I also use this to set my makeup. So the foundation that I'm going to be using today is from Maybelline and it's the Fit Me Matte Poreless Foundation. And this is in the shade 368. I am so glad that I found the shade. This is the perfect shade for me. It is deep golden. It's available at Walmart. And um, the brush that I'm using is from the Carnival Collection at BH Cosmetics. It's a flat top brush. It's amazing to apply foundation. I also use a damp beauty blender so I don't have any um, patches all over my face just so everything has been distributed um, evenly. Next, I am going in with the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer in the shade Dark One. By far my favorite concealer and I am going to add this to the high points of my cheek. Um, the bridge of my nose, my forehead, and my chin, and a little reverse contour. Then I am going in with the Sephora Bright Future Gel Serum Concealer in the shade Hot Cocoa. And I am just applying that wherever I want to contour my nose, my forehead, and um, on the sides of my cheek, um, on the sides of my chin, and underneath my bottom lip. And I forgot to add that to the top. So I am going to blend that out with the same damp beauty blender until I am satisfied with my blending. So to set my face, I am going to use the Black Opal Self Velvet Finishing Powder in the shade Dark 600. And I use this to set on my face before I set underneath my eyes. And this brush is the BH Cosmetics Studio Pro Number no. 2 brush. Next, I'm going in with the Laura Mercier Loose Setting Powder in the shade Translucent. And I'm just going to set the places that I highlighted. I also use this powder to do a little reverse contour and I leave this on until my eyes are complete. Alright guys, so for brows today I am going in with this Benefit Groove Proof Brow Pencil in the shade number 6. This pencil is so easy to work with. It's by far one of my favorites. Um, one, two, three, and your brows are done. Alright, so to conceal my eyelids, I am going to use the NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil in the shade Milk. Then I'm going to be using my fingers to blend that out. Alright, next I am going in with the Morphe M135 brush and I am going to be using it with a shadow from the Morphe 350M Matte Eyeshadow Palette and I'm taking this off-white cream shade 
um, just to set that in place. All right, so I had to zoom you guys in a little bit so you can see what I'm doing. And I'm taking this light orange shade from the same palette and I'm going in with this Sedona Lace EB13 brush and I'm just gonna add that right beneath my eyebrow bone. I'm just gonna work that in until I get my desired um, shade and blend that I'm looking for. All right, so moving on, I am using the same palette, but I'm taking a darker orange and I am just going in with this Morphe M518 brush and I'm just going to apply the shade right beneath the other shadow and I'm just going to work that in until I am satisfied. I do swap brushes back and forth just so I can achieve a great blend. Alright, so next I am going in the Juvia's Place Festival palette and I am taking this red shade, the darkest red in the palette, and I'm going to be using the Morphe M518 brush. And I'm going to add this to the outer corner and work it inwards, not all the way. And I'm also using circular motion to achieve this blend. Alright, so next I am going in with the Huda Beauty Desert Dusk Palette, another one of my favorites. And I'm going in with this pretty metallic pink shadow called Angelic. It's fun for the daytime or nighttime, either or. And here's a quick swatch for you guys. I'm going to be using that with the Wet n Wild Small Eyeshadow Brush and I'm just going to pack that on in the inner corner and then towards the midline of my eyelid. Alright, so from the same palette, I am using this shadow, I'm not even going to try and pronounce it. It's a light gold shadow and I'm just applying this to my eyebrow bone using the Real Techniques Base Shadow Brush. Alright, now I'm using the BH Cosmetics um, Studio Pro brush number 2 to brush away my reverse contour so I can finish the rest of my face. Alrighty, so for my lower lash line, I am going in with this um, Pretty Red from the Festival palette. And I'm using this MAC 219 SE brush that I got from a holiday collection. It's a um, dome pointed um, brush. And I'm just going to run that color across my bottom line. I'm also going to be using the same pink metallic shade um, for my inner corner. Alright, so for mascara, I'm going in with the Maybelline Falsies Push-Up Angel. This again is one of my favorites. I probably use it in the last five videos that I posted. Um, when you love something, you just can't put it down. I think I have like three of them. I'm also going to be adding this to my bottom lash. 
before I add my flossies. So the eyelashes that I'm going to be wearing today are the Ardell Wispy Faux Mink Lashes. Um, these lashes are amazing and I'm going to be using the Duo Eyelash Adhesive to uh, stick them on. Guys, remember when you're doing somebody else's makeup, you never blow onto the eyelashes just for bacterial purposes. Just a little tip. Also, if you guys would love a tutorial on how I apply false lashes, please let me know and I will get that out to you guys. Alright, so for blush, I'm going to be using the MAC Powder Blush in the shade Film Noir. Yes, I know this brush is a foundation brush, but hey, there is no rules when it comes to makeup. So, let a girl be. I'm just going to work this on both cheekbones until I am satisfied with the color. Alright, so of course I am going to set my face with the Mario Badescu Rose Water Facial Spray so I can be good for the rest of the day or however long I wear my makeup for. Guys, I promise you I did not plan to use all my favorite products in this video. This is another favorite. This is the Dose of Colors Liquid Lipstick in the shade Mood. Boy, am I in a mood when I wear this lipstick. Um, it is a very um, moisturizing. It doesn't make my lips dry. It stays on for a good 8 hours. Guys, this lipstick is worth every cent. I promise you. Alright guys, so for highlight today, I'm going to be using the Makeup Revolution Vivid Bake Bronzer in the shade Walk On World. This is a pretty shade for dark skin girls. And this brush is the Real Techniques Strobing Fan Brush. To all my dark skin makeup lovers out there, you guys all need one of these. So here I'm taking the Sigma Tapered Highlighter Brush and I am just going to be highlighting the bridge of my nose, the tip of my nose, and then I'm going to be using my finger to highlight my Cupid's bow. Alright guys, lastly I'm just going in with this Morphe M510 brush and I am just evening out any harsh lines um, wherever I highlighted. Thank you guys for following me on this journey. Thank you guys for subscribing. Thank you guys for the comments, the love. I will see you all in my next tutorial. Bye guys.